What's up, my name's Rex and we're here today again. We'll be installing some brand new parts on the Artoyota MR2, right over here. So for those who haven't realized in all of the videos, my the back of my MR2 is kind of messed up, so. As you can see right here, um, the bathroom sticker is pretty, pretty trash. Um, I've actually got a brand new one. It's not an original one because they don't make them anymore. And I've also had these problems with the taillights. So these are the kooky taillights for the uh, 1995 and up MR2s. I'm not too sure, please correct me in the uh, comments. But these are the lights that come with the later model MR2s. And what I've done is actually kind of like messed them up. It's my own fault. I pretty much try to restore them and get them back into new condition by sanding them down and clear coating them. So on one side, it wasn't actually too bad. You can see here that it's actually pretty decent. Got a nice, good shine. But if you come close, you can kind of see it's like kind of grainy. I don't know, yeah, you can kind of see that there. But it didn't turn out the best and I wasn't happy with them. This one over here on the other hand is completely screwed up. I just sprayed too much clear coat and just completely destroyed them. And I already tried to fix it by sanding this down and just clear coating it, but it took way too long. So I've just decided to buy some brand new ones, which are just over here. So here are my brand new kooky taillights for my MR2. Brand new, looking fresh. We're gonna chuck them on today. Actually looks incredible, oh my God. So these taillights are actually becoming really rare. Toyota doesn't make them anymore, they're discontinued. So I was lucky enough to get my hands on a pair of kooky taillights. They came off the exact same car, which is pretty cool. So shout out to the MR2 Wreckers down in Bendigo, uh, Melbourne. So if you ever want any parts from there worldwide, make sure you check out their website. I'll leave it down in the description. They hooked me up with these taillights and the guy was super nice about it. Highly recommend you check them out if you want to get some pair because there are very few remaining. If you go to like a lot of websites, you can see that you can't actually buy them. They're all out of stock and that's just simply because they don't make them anymore. I've actually ordered a brand new sticker for the MR2 as well, Bathurst sticker. We're going to try to get that on today if we have enough time. Let's get going. So it's actually really simple to remove these taillights. You firstly need to open the boot and then using like a plastic ply tool, you can use a metal one but you'll probably scratch your lights. You just need to get that behind this little triangle piece here and pry it out. Make sure you do it from this side only otherwise you'll break all the clips. Nice and easy enough. Then pretty much, it's very simple. There's a total of two screws where you remove that triangle piece and one screw right on top where the boot is. So now the whole thing will come off. Just make sure that you detach all the bulbs. So you got a total of three, obviously. So you got one here, one there, one there and it's literally that simple to get the light out. Very well done by Toyota. <laughs> so while I'm here, I'm just gonna do a quick clean of this whole area. And there you go. And now we're gonna reinstall the taillights, which is obviously just everything in reverse. guys two brand new taillights my Toyota MR2 they look so good I'm so happy with this because before it just looked cheap and it looked like a, a beta kind of car so I'm definitely so happy with this <laughs> the next thing I've got to do now is try to figure out how to remove this sticker and then replace it with the new one you can see this one has seen the sunlight for 21 years as it's a 1997 Bathurst so for all you Americans out there the Bathurst is a race that's held I think somewhere in Sydney um, in Australia. This is obviously the MR2 edition that they brought down to, to uh, compete in the race. Obviously won't have that in America, but it's just the race, race version of the MR2. So no power steering and not many features. <laughs> All right, so the taillights came out pretty well. Uh, the only thing that kind of screwed me over was removing the sticker. So when I was trying to remove the sticker, some of the clear coat also came off, which is kind of unavoidable on a car that's been in the sun for 21 years. So in the background, I've also got Lachlan behind me installing some rear sway bars, uh, front and rear sway bars from Whiteline. For his BMW 330i E90. He's gonna be installing these today. But yeah, that's just a quick, quick little update on my car. So we're just gonna leave it just as is. With the taillights at the moment, I'll probably have to repaint that boot bit. But yeah, should be good. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.